So let's talk about question 12, uh, which is part A. So 12A is saying evaluate. We have 1, 2, and 3. So how can we evaluate the first one? Now the best thing here to do is um, we know that sec is the same as 1 over cos. So sec is 1 over cos. So it's cos theta or pi over 12. Now this pi over 12, the best way to deal with this is convert this to degrees. Now converting pi over 12 to degrees, converting large to degree, just do 180 divide, divided by pi. So you say pi and pi will cancel. Then 180 divided by 12, which is 15. So the angle we are talking about here is 15 degrees. 15 degrees is the one which is pi over 12. So it's the same as you have. Here is sec 15 degrees. So it's the same as 1 over cos 15 degrees. But I'll leave it here. Okay. I'll leave it there. Let me just put it there. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going just to work out with cos 15 degrees. And then when I find the exact value, then I'm going to say 1 over the answer I'm going to find, which is simple now. Now, this, I can only solve this using what we call the sum and difference formulas. Which two special angles, when I do plus or minus, it should give me, 40, uh, it should give me 15 degrees. So the special angles we have is 0, 30, 45, 60, and maybe you can use 90, that's okay. Now the best thing you need to know is that if I do 45 minus, minus 30, I think it's 15. So I'll say cos 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. Okay, now here I can use what we call the sum and difference formulas. If you have cos, okay, alpha plus beta, this is the same as cos alpha times cos beta. If there is plus here, you use minus. Okay, now then I'll go to sine. So it will be sine alpha sine beta. That is for cos. If I go to plus minus is the one which is going to be alpha minus beta. This is going to be equal to cos alpha just like this cos beta. Then there is, they are going to be plus sine alpha sine beta like that. Now in this case I have got minus meaning I'm going to use this one. Okay. It's the one I'm going to use. The second one. So I'll say now alpha in that case is going to be 25. Beta is 30. I'll say this is equal to cos 45 degrees cos 30 degrees. If there is minus here, I'll say plus. Then I'm going to say sin 45 degrees times sin 30 degrees. Like that. So, the next thing I'm going to do is um, cos 45 degrees is the same as what? These are special angles now which we need to know. Cos 45 degrees is the square root of 2 divided by 2. So, I'll replace that square root of 2 over 2 times what of cos 30? Cos 30 is the root of 3 divided by 2. I'm done with that part. Plus, what of sine 45? Sine 45 is the root of 2 over 2 times, what is sine 30? Sine 30 is 1 over 2. So if I simplify this, I'm going to have the square root of 2 times square root of 3 is the square root of 6. Over 2 times 2 is 4. Plus, root 2 times 1 is root 2. 2 times 2 is 4. If the denominators are the same, what do we do? 
if the denominators are the same what do we do the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the numerator so I'll have the square root of 6 plus the root of 2 this has to be divided by 4 so this is the exact value of course 15 degrees but the question was sec remember I said we have 1 over cos 15 so the answer we have we have now we need to do 1 divided by the answer we have so in this case that's my answer but I'm going to say 1 over root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4 like that the next thing what I'm going to do is this is the same as 1 divided by the root of 6 plus the root of 2 divided by 4 at the same time I can get the reciprocal so it will be 1 times 4 divided by the root of 6 plus the root of 2 so meaning this is the same as 4 over root of 2 plus or root of 6 sorry plus root of 2 but one thing we have to remember is that we can always rationalize the denominator so we do have 4 divided by the root of 6 plus root of 2 so I can say times to rationalize if you want you can end there to be the answer but the best way is to rationalize the denominator so I'll get the conjugate of this okay root of 6 plus or minus root of 2 4 times square root of 6 is going to be 4 the root of 6 minus 4 the root of 2 if you are doing this times its conjugate just square the one having negative that's that would be the answer if you if you want you can say this time that one by one but you end up having the same so if I square the square root of 6 is just 6 minus 2 so the final answer will be 4 root 6 minus 4 root 2 divide this by 6 minus 2 is 4 but at the same time I can factor out I can factor out 4 but if you want you can leave it there or you can factor out 4 4 open brackets root of 6 minus root of 2 divide it by 4 4 and 4 can go so we end up having the root of 6 minus root of 2 as our exact value of sec pi over 12 so we are done with the first part let's move to the second part which is a bit easier than the first part so we have first to convert this angle which we have what is 5 pi over 3 so I'll say times 180 divided by pi pi and pi will go so I, what, one th what the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to say what is pi okay the next thing I'm going to, to say is um, the what is uh, 180 divided by 3 which is going to give me 60 60 times 5 is 300 meaning what we're trying to find is tan negative 300 what does it mean when you say negative 300 it means that this angle is measured from negative from post negative x axis okay what do I mean it is clockwise so it is starting from here all the way to there that is our 300 now negative 300 degrees if this was positive would have said it started from there going to there to that part here so I'll say 300 I need to add 360 to get the positive angle if you have been given any angle which is negative just add the 360 to get that angle to be positive so to get to angle which is here I'll say okay I'll say negative 300 plus 360 degrees so this is going to give me 60 okay so in that case now I have got tan 60 degrees 
So since it is in the first quadrant, it is positive. What I'm going to do is, I'm going just to say, what is tan sikisti? Tan sikisti is the root of 3. Tan, this angle is in the first quadrant. The first quadrant tan is positive. So I'll just leave it there to say the exact value is the square root of 3. I'm done. Let's do the next one. So the next one we can clearly see that we have sine, so I'm going to change pi over 4 times 180 divided by pi. Pi and pi will cancel. So I'll have 45. 4 into 180 is 45. Meaning I have sine 45 degrees plus cos. Let's change pi over 6. Pi over 6 times 180 over pi. Pi and pi will go. 6 into 180 is 30. Meaning I've got sine 30. I divide this by pi. So I have got tan down here. But I don't know what pi over 3 is. I have to convert. Times 180 divided by pi. These two will cancel. I'll end up having 60 degrees. Now the next thing I'm going to do is what is sine 45? Sine 45 is the root of 2 over 2. We have talked about this. Okay, sine 45 is the root of 2 over 2. Plus what is cos 30? Cos 30 is the root of 3 over 2. Then tan 60 is the one we are from doing now, which is the root of 3. Okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do, I know that this part here, the denominators are the same. If the denominators are the same, I can add the numerator. So I'll say, this will be equal to the root of 2 plus the root of 3 divided by 2. Then I divide this again by the root of 3. This division which is here is the one which I've just put it there. The next thing what I'm going to do is the square root of 2 plus root of 3 divided by 2 times I'm going to say this is going to be 1 over okay, the root of 3. So the next thing I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to have um, I'm going to have the root of 2 plus root of 3 divide this by 2 root of 3. If I want I can end there to say that's my answer but if I want I can go further and rationalize the denominator. I'll say negative 2 root of 3 divided by negative 2 root of 3. So we we'll have this times that is going to be Okay, it's going to be negative 2 root of square root of 2 times that is going to be square root of 6. Then minus, this is going to be 2 times root square root of 2, square root of 3 times this square root of 3 is 3. Then I'll divide this by, you just square the one having negative. Okay, although, so in that case you consider negative not to be squared so that it should be just negative. That's what I mean. What I mean is you square this part here and leave negative outside. So which is going to be 4 times 3 like that. But there is negative outside. So the final answer will be negative 2 root of 6 then minus 6 divided by these two they are going to give us what? They are going to give us negative 12. But at this point, I can, on top there, I can factor out, I have that point part here. The top part here, I can factor out negative 2. Negative 2, open brackets, the root of 6 minus, here it will be 3. So, so it will be plus now, because I factored out negative. Divide this by negative 12. So I'll say negative 2 into that is going to give us 
okay it's going to give us negative and negative will cancel i'll have one which will, which is going to be square root of six plus three divided by here we'll have two there we'll have six so this is going to be my final answer in that case so that is it for question um for question 13 this is supposed to be 12 yeah question 12 is it 12 yeah i think this is 13 or 12 12 a hey.